Paul, coming into this camp, how special is it for you after the season you had last year where you didn't play very many games, only 25 games in Portland before you got a chance to come up and play a couple in the American Hockey League at the end because of injuries? Yeah, it's really special, you know, get back on the ice and, and play some games. And, you know, it's my only my third game back from surgery, so it's uh, or fourth game tonight. So it's uh, it's pretty special to get back on the ice and, and uh, feel, you know, 100 percent. When you get an injury like that and it causes you to miss so much time, you start to the questions appear in your mind. How is this going to set me back? What's going to happen from here? Did that happen to you? Absolutely. You know, I, it's it's tough to sustain an injury like that and, and be out for so long and you know a guy like me I haven't been injured like that for you know my whole career so it's one of those things where I had to take a step back and be like okay this is the process you know I have to go through the rehab I have to go through the surgeries and everything like that and make sure I'm 100% before I, you know I get back on the ice so it's uh, you know there were times uh, definitely in Cleveland where I'm like oh man this is I haven't been skating for you know three months I'm like oh man what, what's gonna happen you know what but uh, you know everybody in, in Cleveland in here uh, in the organization just said, you know, you just stay the course, stay the process, you know, you're going to be fine, you're going to be fine, you're going to be back on the ice in no time. So it's just one of those things where you just got to stay the course and, and uh, continue on the rehab. And they sent you to Cleveland at a pretty good time. I mean, the team wins a championship. You get to be a part of that a little bit. So that had to be nice. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, when I got there, the boys were battling for uh, fourth, fifth, and then all of a sudden a month a month left in the season, they're in second, and, and, and then going to the playoffs full steam ahead and rode the wave the whole way. So it was pretty cool. It was pretty special to be a part of, for sure. You know, playing junior hockey in Portland, that's a program that's had a lot of success for a long time. But being a part of what you just talked about, how special was that? Because runs like that playoff run for the uh, then Lake Erie Monsters, they don't come along very often. No, they don't. You know, you don't see that even in the junior ranks. You know, they don't, you don't see that too often. So it was pretty special to be a part of it and, and uh, get to know those guys and be a part of it. It was uh, something I'll take with me the rest of my life. What are you trying to impress upon the management in this camp as to where your game is and where it, actually where it can go? Yeah, I'm just trying to prove to them that uh, you know I can play a consistent full 60 game and uh, you know play a 200-foot uh, game uh, for a full 60. So it's uh, one of those things where I just need to keep a mental preparation before the games and, and know what I'm going into. You mentioned it's only your fourth game back since you had surgery. Were you tentative at all uh, at first when you first got back there last year, or is it uh, are you all out and ready to go right now? Uh, well, when I got back last year with the two games in Cleveland, I was uh, pretty much running on adrenaline the first first period, so it was pretty good then. But then I, you know, I felt a little tentative, and then the third periods I started to pick it up again. But uh, you know, here in Traverse, and then now here, I feel like I've just picked up and kept it going from where I started left off in Cleveland.